The iPhone X or iPhone X sometimes experience something called ghost touch. Not all iPhone Xs have this problem, but there are certain ones that do. And if you are having this problem, I'm going to explain the ways that you can try to fix it, and if not, how to get it repaired. What ghost touch is, is basically it's like a ghost is controlling your phone and moving things around without you actually touching it. It could delete things, it could reset things, close things, it could just higher the volume, it could do lots of different things. And you'll just see weird things happening on the screen that will make it look like a ghost is basically using your phone. That's how they got the term ghost screen. Welcome everybody, I'm Kevin from HelpfulTutorials.net. If you're new here and you like iPhone tips, tricks, and tutorials, do me a favor, please smack that subscribe button and don't forget to click the bell. Just a quick update, I am now a full-time YouTuber between this channel and my other channel, so you'll be seeing a lot more content coming your way. You'll be seeing a huge increase in videos and I hope you enjoy it. If you have anything you would like to see a video on, please make sure to comment it below. Because of the uh, amount of videos I'll be putting out, suggestions can always help. And I really do appreciate that. With all that said, let's go ahead and jump in. Let's talk about the ghost touch and what's going on. So again, a ghost touch will be like your phone is just randomly moving and you're not actually touching it. The screen will move. Things can delete and bump around and basically it's mainly affected on the iPhone X. There are some other people that have reported the problem on other models but currently Apple only recognizes iPhone X as having an issue. So first of all if you are having any phones that have this problem that's not the iPhone X you want to make sure it's not a case issue. A lot of times cases can be clamped down too hard and pushing the screen and kind of causing this problem automatically. It, it doesn't happen too often, but a defective case could do this or if the case is just so tight. So first I would try to take it out of the case and see if the phone works any better for you if that goes away. Also after you take it out of the case, make sure you turn it off, turn it back on to see so you can clear that out and then kind of test it from there. I also recommend you clean your screen to make sure there's no, uh, how can I say it, gook on your screen. A lot of people don't clean their phones. I know. I've repaired phones for a long time. I have received some disgusting phones. I can't even explain how bad, where it's like you don't even want to use a stylus because then you have to throw it away after. <laughs> So with things like that, make sure you're cleaning your phone because if some gook does get stuck, it could be causing a problem pushing too hard down on the screen because of how it is. So make sure you clean your screen, take your case off, see if that helps. If it's still a problem and it's not an iPhone X, then you're probably going to have to pay for a repair because it's probably a physical issue going on. If it is an iPhone X, there is good news. Apple does have a display module replacement program for touchscreens, basically saying that we will go ahead and take care of this. So I have this brought up now, and I'm going to just explain how it works. So I'm just going to read over it for you. Apple's determined that iPhone X displays may experience touch issues due to a component that might fail on the display module. An affected device may exhibit the following. The display or port of the display does not respond or responds intermediately to touch and the display reacts even though it's not touched. So basically that's saying you can try to touch your screen and it doesn't work or it may just go off on its own. Now keep in mind if this happens every once in a while you're probably fine but if it's happening often there could be an issue going on with your phone. You can go ahead and get this replaced as long as your phone is within three years of age of being purchased and as long as you're in the country that you've purchased it from. So it's important to know that because you may get this and it may work fine for two years. My phone's actually just hit the two year, actually I'm about to hit the three year mark. So as I hit the three year mark, if it fails after that, I'm out of luck. Now if it already failed and you already got this fixed, you're like, I've went through that and I got it fixed. You can contact Apple. They will go ahead and refund you if they determine that is the case. 
I'm just scrolling down here to put more information on the screen, but basically I'm going over everything all on here as we go. You can choose different ways to do it. Find an Apple authorized service provider, make an appointment at an Apple retail store, and contact Apple support to arrange mail and service. You want to make sure you back up everything before you send it out because there's always that chance you can lose things and you don't want to have to go through that. So make sure you back it up, you have all your information if that's the case. Also if there's other damage to the phone that's going to stop the repair, for example the screen's cracked, they are going to want you to fix that before they fix their part. So make sure you do that if you want to go that far. And they basically say here what I said earlier, um, restricted or limited repair to the original country or region of purchase. The Apple program doesn't extend the standard warranty coverage of the iPhone X. If you believe your iPhone X was affected by this issue and you paid already, contact Apple for a refund and you have three years from the first retail sale of the unit. I also want to scroll up a bit and notify you of this. No other iPhone models are part of this program. It's important to know that there are no other phones that are affected. They saw this, they fix it in future generations going forward and it should be taken care of. Now, is that saying that's not going to happen? There's always a chance that other phones are going to fail. So it's always good to check Apple support from time to time to see if they do update anything. But at the time of this, there is only the iPhone X. So with that, you should be able to go ahead and get everything set up and fixed. Unfortunately, it is a service that you need to go ahead and send it into unless it was one of the earlier things, which I hope it was. So it was a much easier fix for you. Thank you so much for the view.